Quality of life assessments for people with bipolar disorder measure the degree to which people are flourishing in their lives. This approach takes healthy and bipolar beyond just an absence of symptoms and focuses attention on how individuals can thrive. With this in mind, CRESPD is developing a web-based quality of life tool that will allow people with bipolar disorder to assess their own well-being. CRESPD is an international research network that works to create, exchange, and share knowledge about bipolar disorder, BD, in collaboration with people who live with the condition, their families, healthcare providers, and employers, just to name a few. CRESPD aims to improve the health and quality of life of people with bipolar disorder. The web-based tool that CRESPD is developing will allow people with BD to measure their life quality at a single point in time or across multiple points of time online. It will provide them with individualized feedback on areas of their life they're thriving in and areas that may need some attention. Although it will be designed as a self-management tool for people with bipolar disorder, it will be suitable for use by healthcare providers who are working with patients to develop treatment goals. On October 4, 2013, CRESPD brought together a range of stakeholders to contribute to the development of the tool. Stakeholders reviewed a prototype version and provided input on the tool's strengths, limitations, and key design features. Strengths. Stakeholders agreed the prototype would be convenient to use and they could imagine users completing the quality of life measurement on their own time, day or night. They found the format of four questions per page easy to understand and the use of standardized directions helpful. They also suggested that in the future, users' results would provide streamlined data for their healthcare providers. Barriers. Marketing, privacy, data security and accessibility were the four standout barriers. Stakeholders wondered how people with bipolar disorder will learn about the web tool and indicated a marketing strategy would be essential. They had concerns about the security of user information and user identities remaining anonymous. They were also concerned how the tool could be made accessible to people who lack access to computers. Based on the strengths and barriers, stakeholders suggested key design features for the tool. These include enhanced security and privacy, choice, customization, visuals and graphs, and community. They highlighted the importance of security and privacy for the online tool and suggested users have the ability to use an alias. They also stressed the importance of having choice and customization. Choice could refer to providing options for displaying results, sharing results with others, and optional follow-up actions. Customization could be accomplished by checking boxes for including or excluding information, the ability to choose different colors to convey information, and or providing an option for email reminders. In addition to identifying areas to work on, the web tool could also highlight users' areas of strength or successes. Stakeholders believe that visuals and simple graphs to be essential elements of a successful web tool. For example, 6 to 12 months of a person's health could be displayed using sequential graphs to show changes over time. Enhancing the community feel and minimizing the research feel of the tool was considered important as well. Specific ways of building this online community could include notifying users when others are logged in at the same time, or sharing the total number of individuals who complete the assessment. It could also include inspirational quotes, multimedia wellness resources, and did you know clinical insights. Building an online community could also be accomplished by offering options for interactions, for example, discussion or resource sharing platforms. If this tool development process sounds exciting to you and you'd like to get involved, these future opportunities might be of interest. Complete our current survey to share your lived experience or clinical expertise in the self-management of bipolar disorder. Contribute to an advisory working group during the development of the prototype, or participate in one-on-one -on -one user testing of the web-based prototype. So if any of these activities sound interesting to you and you'd like to get involved, please contact Sally McBride. Thanks for your interest.